What is up, nation? My name is Tubby Moo. If you're new to the channel or if you're just joining for the first time, my name is Tubby Moo or Eric. Uh, I, I just came back from a trip, guys, and I'm ecstatic. A lot of people have been asking me, Tubby, what did you think of the trip? Did you enjoy it? Did you have a good time? Some people were parodying it. Some people were spoofing it. Whatever your reaction is to the trip, I had a hell of a lot of fun. And now that I'm back, it just feels weird. It, um... It was really cool because it almost made me want to, you know, become kind of like a WWE sign guy where I want to like go to all the events, blog about it, video, and do all that stuff and be the rumor mill. But then when I came back, I was like, you know what, I like, you know, being back, being in a hotel for five days and just being everywhere. And, you know, it was fun, but I don't want to do it all the time. Um, and one of the, uh, the worst things about it was driving back. Um, I made the decision after Monday Night Raw to drive back. And, you know, my parents were like, stay in a hotel, the weather's bad, it's snowing, you should probably just stay there. And I was like, you know what, I drive at night all the time, I'm used to it, and I'm like, you know what, <laughs> I'm just going to drive back. Well, the problem is, uh, I met up with Mr. Hurricane, his channel's in the description, you guys should go check him out for all the sports type videos, he's very good at them. Um, met him for like five minutes before we had to leave, because it was really packed. And um, one of the cool things is... Um, they have a Hiawatha line at the Target Center, and I've always taken the Hiawatha line. It's a train that goes from Mall of America all the way downtown to Target Field. And I used to take the Twins games, I'd take Timberwolves games that we did at the first night, where you get the Mall of America, sure, you ride a 40-minute train ride, but then you don't have to pay for parking, and you don't have to, you know, wait in the traffic all you, you know, want. Um, which, it works any other time, but for WWE... Apparently, they don't think it's that important, the uh, MTA. Because normally, if you have, like, the Twins playing, they run five trains, five or six trains. They, they're they constantly coming every five minutes or so. Um, but with us, they only had one or maybe two trains going. But the problem is, and I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this or if you guys live in Minneapolis, halfway down the tracks at two of the stations, uh, one of the stations, actually, there was a problem with the bridge cable. And... I, I get the point that they're trying to be safe and, you know, not risk, you know, injuries and all that stuff, and I applaud them for that, but their plan was, okay, you can ride the train halfway down, and then you get off, you take a bus, two stops, and then get back on the train, and I was like, you know what, that, that's not too bad, I, under, I understand why they have to do it, I'm like, okay, but except for the fact that they were getting out of raw, and the train you know, ramp, is absolutely jam-packed, like, literally, it is full, like, absolutely full, and, uh, the train is just absolutely full, there's no room to squeeze in there, and, and not even for a fat guy, like, there was this little dude that couldn't even get in there, they're like, oh, sorry, man, you're gonna have to wait, and the driver's like, you guys better get on the train, you're not gonna be another one for half an hour, and it made me think, like, are you serious, you have all these people here, you have your own fault for, well, not your fault, you know, nature, whatever, you know, the bridge being out of commission, why did you not plan for this and, you know, put another train on the tracks? Um, and I was pissed. Um, and we decided to wait. And within five minutes, another train came down the tracks from the left side. And there was a couple of people on it. And they were going on to Target Field. It used to be Target Center was the last stop. And then they, with the Target Field they built, they added another stop. So we thought, you know what? We can get on the train. It'll go down and then it'll come back. You know, they use, that's how it usually works. And we get on, and they don't tell us that, you know, the next stop is the last one, and then the train's going out of commission. They don't say that to us. They let us get on the train, get down to the Target Center, and then they tell us that. And there's only, like, five of us that did it. Me and a lady and her kid and her uh, grandpa or her dad and her, his son. And we kind of, like, bonded. We were sitting there, and we were talking, and, and it was funny. It was like, are you serious? They're going to strand us like this. And it was, like, unfucking believable And the driver wouldn't move until we got off the train. And we sat there for about 15 minutes like, okay, this is bullshit. It's already 11 o'clock. We haven't even got on a train yet. And uh, then the train finally comes back. It parks at the station, and it's just waiting there. And we're out in the cold, freezing. There's snow everywhere. And we're like, okay, this isn't okay. So we get on the train. Then we wait, we wait, we wait. And then the train finally takes off. We go downtown. We get on the bus. We get back over there. Midnight comes around, I finally drive home, Christian hits a kill switch, just kind of a random story letting you guys know how it went, because a lot of people were asking what the trip was like, I'll let you guys know in a future video on my second channel, if you guys want to check it out, the link is in the description, go sub to my second channel guys, hit a like button, my name is WMU, peace.